Pearl Tutorial Part 7 Array Tips Okay, so I've shown you how to create arrays Now we'll create an array as we've done several times before An array of colors Okay, that's enough. Now I'll show you a different way of creating that array is probably a bit quicker but here's a bit of a shortcut to create this array now we can type in quote now that will enable us to create this array without having to put all these quotation marks and commas for that matter in inside so we can create this very same array like so okay so let me print out first of all the first way we made it okay I'll print out our first array red, blue, orange, white now let me print out our second array alright they're exactly the same so there's a tip on how to make an array without having to type in the quotations and the commas I will now show you a quick way to create an array of numbers so here's how we've been doing it up until now let's print out our numbers one to five now there's a quicker way we can do that simply numbers equals so if we want to create an array of numbers one to five as we just have we can simply type in numbers equals one dot dot five so let's print our second array of numbers out okay exactly the same now here's an example of how to print out I don't think there would be many cases when you would really use this but if we wanted to print out say a hundred ones this is how we do that so if we print out this array we should get a hundred ones alright so there's about a hundred ones if I wanted to create an array of 100 hellos I would put it in quotation marks numbers don't need quotation marks but uh, words or strings do so let's run that I've got 100 hellos